Hello and welcome, my name is Richie and I'm a free time songwriter slash producer and today we're gonna check out Idol's brand new song, Hua. Happy New Year everyone, I thought uh, what better way to start off 2021 than with my favorite group, Idol and the group that brought me into K-pop. Fortunately, they just brought out a brand new song as well as a mini album. We're definitely going to check out the mini album as well tomorrow. For me today, but for you guys it's gonna come out tomorrow. So yeah, I don't want to talk anymore and any longer because I just want to listen to this probably really good song. Okay, so let's dive into it. All right, so this is the first thing I see. And to be fair, this kind of reminds me a bit of the, of, of the Dreamcatcher MVs, like the Tree of Dystopia. I don't know what's going on, but we'll see. We'll see. Ooh, okay. What's going on with the tree? Okay, I need to turn this up. I actually can't tell you guys what that instrument is. It, it sounds like a flute or something to me, but I think it's a, a traditional instrument, right? So not quite sure what it is exactly, but what's definitely cool are those piano chords. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. That's very interesting percussion. Definitely very cool. I don't know what kind of percussion elements that are. It, it, once again, it sounds very traditional, but I don't know what it is exactly. Uh, some flutes going on, and then you have that the classic 808 bass, which is not a traditional kind of instrument, but interesting vibe. I wonder where this is going. Obviously, Idol is changing their genre with every song, so that's cool. Pretty hyped to see what's going on here. Okay, yeah, Soya really likes that, that reggaeton kind of vibe, right? She even talked about that. I know it within like, I don't know what video it was, but she, she mentioned that uh, she liked that kind of reggaeton rhythm. She brings it in here, instantly gives it a super nice groove, and then uh, Uki Power coming through <laughs> on top of it. Pretty, pretty cool. Starting to build an energy. I really like that flute that comes in like every four bars or something, just to play a little melody on top. Free chorus, I guess. We're starting to build again. Okay, so I do have a few things to say. First of all, I still don't know which kind of traditional instruments are played within the chorus. But let me just jump back to the chorus. I do think that this song, at least when it comes to the chorus and the instrumentation of the chorus as well as the melody, has some similarities to Han. And I know that Soyeon said that you should listen to Han before listening to the album. So I don't know if I was supposed to listen to Han again before listening to this track, but I've heard that track a lot and I'm pretty sure I heard it yesterday as well. So I, I do know how that song sounds like, okay? <laughs> I really do know it. It's probably one of my most listened songs ever uh, in K-pop. So uh, anyways, if you listen to this chorus melody... There's a few similarities. The first similarity is within Han, you have that high whistle note within the chorus. And this time they have this, as I said, I have no idea what kind of instrument that is, but it, it's kind of it's kind of doing a similar thing here. And then the vocal melody, like it has some similarities. It, it's obviously completely different still, but it, it has a similar vibe, you know what I mean? Which is great because Han was actually my favorite song, so I'm very happy about that. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that bird. Alright, but going into the rap section. Yeah. Oh, I like that. They bring in... They not only do they visually bring in uh, the... I don't know how that bird is called in English, but you can also hear it within the audio at the left. So that's cool. Right there. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh. Okay, they're taking out the drums right here to transition better into this pre chorus right here. Really, really smart move there from the side of the production. As you can see right here after this rap section, which, by the way, is once again not. A classic rap section like Soyeon I feel like she always challenges herself to to write something really unorthodox when it comes to her rap sections I never felt like oh this is just a normal rap section with with idol which is great and then as I said they take out the drums transition into the part of Mion right here and now they're gone the drums one hit again and then I really like that percussion thing that I have going here. The, 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 the keeps the rhythm alive. Ooh, those chords. Oh, nice. Such a powerful transition. This is super catchy. <laughs> this is gonna be stuck in my head. Brim. That guitar right there. Nice. Oh, nice. The high note of Mini transitioning into the, the chorus melody. But the chorus doesn't drop, it, they just give you the melody and probably they're gonna drop it again, maybe, right now, I would say. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Damn. Yeah, damn. That was a really great song. Obviously, I expected it to be really good as a, a big fan of Idol, but I love that those similarities to Han, as I said, I don't know if it's, it's like supposed to be like that, but um, I think it is because she mentioned something about, and one of the tracks of the album is also called Han, so the best part about this song is that I still have four more songs, or five more songs? Five or four? Five, I think. Five more songs to listen to, which is gonna be amazing. I'm super hyped for this, but this song is really, really good. It's super well written. Every section like, there's nothing about the song that I feel like is, like, not perfect or, like, doesn't fit in any way. Like, it, it fits together really, really well. The instrumentation is really, really interesting. The, the usage of these traditional kind of drums and um, instruments that I, as I said, I don't know what exactly those are, but is uh, really making the song much more unique than if they just would be using normal instruments or like, you know, the classic K-pop instrumentation. So really well done and really well crafted uh, by Soyeon and the other producers on this track. Uh, I'm super hyped to go and check out the entire album right now. I know there's tracks from Uki on there, there's tracks from Mini on there. It's gonna be amazing. Make sure to go and check that out as well if you wanna see my reaction to that tomorrow. And uh, for now, have a nice day. Stay healthy, stay safe and Goodbye.